So the number one is Siri. What's new to iOS 18.2? is this integration of ChatGPT, which I think is actually really, really, really cool. And now Siri is kind of like a little bit smarter and just overall a little bit different. You're going to want to go into settings, Apple intelligence and Siri, and then you're going to want to enable ChatGPT. What this does is sure, you can go to ChatGPT on a web browser on your iPhone, that would work as well. But what this is going to do, which I think is absolutely revolutionary, is actually put ChatGPT into your Siri, enabling you to do things like, hey Siri, using ChatGPT, tell me what the capital of Texas is. Things like that, that really help your iPhone come to life. And it's really nice that you actually have this ability built into your iPhone now. Now, number two is going to be kind of a hybrid between two things. It's actually gonna be ChatGPT kind of built into your iPhone a little bit more. And then it's also gonna be this thing called Image Playground, which I've started playing with, and it's actually really cool. So basically, ChatGPT is now in your mail, it's in your iMessage, and it's basically anything that has to do with text, which is really cool. Basically, you press on the screen where you would type and you do writing tools. Writing tools basically allows you to actually have a bunch of different professional editing software tools, a canvas of different things come up that helps you write better. There is a proofreading option which allows the Apple intelligence to kind of proofread what you're saying, which I think is cool. But what I think is just absolutely phenomenal that's now on our phones is the fact that you can actually go down to the bottom of the screen here and hit compose using ChatGPT. The fact that you actually get to use your voice and type up something in milliseconds that would otherwise take you hours, maybe just minutes to write is absolutely fascinating. So basically, for example, my girlfriend is a special education teacher. She teaches those with disabilities, which I completely admire and respect. What I mean by that and where I'm going with that is that I actually asked ChatGPT to write a letter to my girlfriend named Allison about how much the economy and industry appreciates her time spending this time with disability kids to help them learn. ChatGPT formed this in about I would say three seconds, and I actually did this again in order to see if it would actually refine it, and it does. Now, if you're someone like me who really likes to kind of use these things to the full advantage, sure, AI can sometimes, I think, make us all a little bit more, I guess, lazy, but at the end of the day, I do like to work smarter, not harder, and while I run a YouTube channel, it's nice to have something kind of aiding my workflows. So for me personally, I will be using this quite a bit. So next thing is Image Playground. Image Playground gives you something that is similar to a mid journey and a chat GPT all in one hybrid. So basically on your messages and on your phone, there's now an app and a messages ability where you can use AI to actually create these animated figures and images. For me, I sent Allison last night a picture of a lizard eating a donut with a smirk on its face and I used my voice to make that. So this is one of the sillier features and in my opinion, less usable. But at the end of the day, being able to send back and forth pictures of random things to your friends makes your iPhone feel more fun. And this image playground generates an image in just about five seconds and I think that's pretty cool. Image Playground, I see you guys using this for things like sending your boss a funny meme about calling out sick or maybe sending someone something that makes them feel better on a bad day. Now, the last thing is my absolute bonkers favorite part of this entire video is called Apple Visual Intelligence. You press and hold the camera control and basically with this enabled, you can take a picture of anything, literally anything outside and you can actually ask Apple Intelligence to tell you what it is you can translate different texts in different languages. So basically you get to use Google images and you also get to use ChatGPT. We have the ability now to actually take our iPhone, scan a Chipotle, for example, basically ask ChatGPT when Chipotle was founded, who's the founder, what's the stock, and we can do all that on Apple intelligence for the visual sake. So if you're not as excited as I am, I don't know what to tell you. Put a comment down below what your favorite feature is that I went over today. Obviously, I'm potentially missing some things. These are some of the biggest ones. And now, for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, for those beginners out there and anybody who's upgrading to this new iPhone software, here are the instructions. So basically, you go to settings. Once you're at settings, you're gonna go to general, then you're gonna go to software update, and then you're gonna click on, it should say iOS 18.2. Now, if it doesn't say that, there's a few reasons. One is your battery is below 20%, and the other is if you're not on Wi-Fi, it might ask you if you wanna download the update on cellular data. That's on you. I hope you guys have unlimited data, because if you don't, I would not do that. Also, the updates do require a certain amount of storage, so if yours is saying you can't do it, consider that. One thing I did notice when I first got the update, unfortunately, is that the chat GPT in the iMessage did kind of kill the battery. So hopefully that kind of gets itself fixed out. Anyways, guys, once again, put your comments down below. Which are you most excited for? The chat GPT and the iMessage, Siri having chat GPT, the Apple Visual Intelligence, or the Image Playground? 
If you have an iPhone 15 or 16, it's important to know what is actually compatible with Apple Intelligence and iOS 18. People think that iOS 18 and Apple Intelligence are the same thing. Now, in a lot of ways they are. However, for those of you who are actually looking for clarification on this, it's because Apple Intelligence is only available on select models, meaning the iPhone 15 Pro, Pro Max, 16 series, iOS 18.2 does include some great new features. However, Apple Intelligence is not available unless you have these select models. To install Apple Intelligence on your phone, if you do have one of the phones that actually meet the requirements, you actually can go into your settings right now. If you go in there, you'll see a, a tab that says Apple Intelligence and Siri. So you can actually click on this, then turn on the Apple Intelligence. There'll be a little button there that says Apple Intelligence, turn it on, and then you may actually have to wait for a wait list. And if you are uh, then asked to wait on a wait list, it should take about 24 hours. Uh, mine took about that time. I actually believe mine took about six hours, but basically Apple intelligence is something new. So Apple is looking to help people just make sure that you are on the compatibility list before you try to download um, or turn on Apple intelligence. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.